forewarning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya. She is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the Sage and Bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you direct your attention to the fort, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth. Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly, with a ball of flaming refuse. Ah, la, 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 la! This reminds me of a day 20 years back. I sail through the pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, first choice. That's right. I was a higher pole than two. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only peek into the life of a city. Well done, then. Sea craft comes naturally to you. Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Want a dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my sheet smells like charcoal. Damaste, please, shut up! We press on! With caution, we're not yet in calmer waters. Sheeps. They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those naked the others will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. The fleet awaits your command, Aya! Our catapult will fire upon your order! Don't save our ammunition, Aya! Waste it! And there! Now! Take them, you slackers! Don't let them talk! Ready! Give them hell on the train! Take a piece of that! Show no mercy! Send them to the abyss! Hell 
The air stinks, but not the Vorsman. Something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there. Empty water. since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father. <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking Star Wars! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the ring box! Use the fog to hide your escape! I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free, you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> For battle, we will honor our goddies! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. Who are we? Let me do the talking. 
de Augusto São Pedro, tem dom de glórias para as que vás mata tudo a destino. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my phylakitai. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Serene. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy the Thirteenth, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry, it is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakitai. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, Legionnaires! Official business for the Pharaoh! Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Uh, I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Guest Legionnaire, at ease. We'll stay in the palace. All politics are concluded. Dogs. My palace is at your disposition, guys. Pompey was bound to be killed soon. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <laughs> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! <laughs> My wretched brother. He's let the wine go to vinegar and my kingdom to pieces. Great lady, your audacity is equaled only by your beauty, Flavius. Please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bothinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time, to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You proved your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Medjais.
Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. Did I tell you of the poet Catullus? It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it is. Really? You insult our efforts. We tried everything. Hmm. Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. Hmm. They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. Must be a way beneath. Around! This is a tighter squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. to now, my love. It must be through the sewers. No one had the courage to plunge into Hades rivers. We are the ones. After you, Aya. Tomb. Incredible. I hope you will provide me with a similar sarcophagus. <laughs> Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade, so I can protect myself in the field of reeds. Promise. These markings along the bottom, they speak of Siwa. A vault, and a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees, where a marked sphere meets its scepter. Man to king, king to god. A marked sphere? What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. These paintings on the wall.
His birth. He was Macedonian, a Greek that became Egyptian, like me. <laughs> he began the rule of our latest pharaohs, the dynasty of Ptolemies that have ruined Egypt. He founded Alexandria and brought us the great library where Aristotle mentored him. He abandoned education for bloodshed. Hmm. Not unlike us. Here is when he crowned Ptolemy Lagos as his successor. So the rule of the Ptolemies began. And the Magi's ended. The Magi's disappeared because of him. You cannot blame one man for everything. All men are to blame. And women. Stuff he is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It taught me, did you faint? Together, we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar? And starts impressing us. Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Levius, come. Look. We have found the great king. Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. They will attack on sight here. the damn job. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius. They are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen.
Then they said they left for. Where? Where? I like the beacon! <laughs> This guy may have more valuable information. I need to bring him back to Caesar. You have loyal men, Caesar. Septumius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi, I smell war. <laughs> We will put our queen on the throne. You are the only queen worthy of the throne. <laughs> <sighs> Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. <laughs> Proof Caesar wrong, my love. Best not be seen here.
trouble here! Hang on. Someone crushed that tiny lotus. Ah! How did she get this far? Halt, little woman! Just kill her so we can deal with the real. <laughs> Zeus' name did you kill my captain? <laughs> 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 